Thrive Trading Tuesday. I love Tuesdays because I will be giving you free trading uh, signal. And the best thing with the live trading Tuesday is that you will learn a lot. Let me tell you, there are two things you'll get from this video. You might find maybe the, the specific trade um, that I'm analyzing, it has already hit TP, but what I'm assuring you, you will know how to enter a trade. You will know the rules that are involved. There are so many things you will learn. Many people always come to Forex for money, but for me, I want to encourage beginners to always focus even on the learning part. When you enter a trade, either you are learning, you're making money, and you're pointing out notes to apply on other trades. So th this is lesson 78, live trading Tuesday. There's a very good setup on uh, Audio SD, and it's on four hour. And before we go to four hour, let's just recap what we had said on Audio SD. So Audio SD, if I check, we have a double bottom that has not yet confirmed on the monthly. So this live trading Tuesday, it won't be a swing trade. This is a day trade. It's like a scalping trade. So once we enter this trade, we just targeting 50 pips and we are done because it's not a swing trade. Why? Because the monthly time frame has not confirmed for a swing trade. So we have that GBP, uh, audio SD on the monthly. And again, double bottom on downtrend. I told you guys it's hard to trade it. That's why I keep saying when you're trading a double bottom on a downtrend, it won't be easier. So having that in mind on the on the monthly, no support on the either entry. When we go, we go to the weekly time frame, still is the same thing because now we have a small ranging channel. Can you see this ranging channel? That's what we have, the small ranging channel. So once you have this small ranging channel, this week the market was a very strong sell. But that, that does not mean that the market will continue to sell. We need to understand what can make this market to continue to sell or what can make this market to get rejected. When you go to the daily time frame, you might find that on the daily time frame, we had a possible uh, double bottom that failed to get activated. So here I have a possible double bottom that failed to be activated. You can see here, so the market never activated that double bottom. So you can see in the daily time frame, we could have a double bottom that is not on the weekly, but the fact that that market has not activated that double bottom, we cannot use it. Now, after all is said and done, I'm saying this is a live trade where you're not holding for long. When you go to four hour, what do you see when you go to four hour? I'm, I'm trying to show you the steps that you'll be taking, the, the steps that you'll be taking when you're analyzing your trade. So let's go to four hour. When you go to four hour, you notice we have this indecision candle and it's red forming a support. Note guys what we said, a red candle followed by a green candle, we get our support area. So there we have a support zone. So let me delete this so that it does not obstruct us. So we have a support zone like that. So that's our very, very nice support. And that support, two attempts has made a double bottom. So we have a double bottom there. So that's a double bottom. And then we have the neckline and then the half. If you notice, guys, we have RBS. I keep telling people, whenever you have RBS in the market, that's a guaranteed, at least the market will go to the, to the half. So this is RBS, the market, the double bottom has RBS. I keep saying again, RBS is taught in my course. If you're interested, interested in my course, just to serve me and you'll get the details. So we have here possible double bottom. So that's a possible double bottom. We are yet to know how the market will play out. Will it be a one time trade or will it take time? Confidence is that with the, with the strategy, it has to work. So we have the neckline like that. So having this neckline. Now, you have come to realize that um, what type of, um, what, what, what strategy do we use on the four hour? We use CRB strategy. CRB is current support, current resistance break. So here we are looking for CRB. 
for us to enter the market. Now we have to look for current resistance, current resistance break. So if I bring my line, I will um that's the, the exact point because red followed by green, it forms a current resistance. So the fact that we have this red candle has formed a resistance. And you can see the market broke very well, the current resistance. So I'm analyzing a trade that has already been given out. So if you are seeing this market when this market is ranging, um, you have an opportunity to buy it. Don't have fear. The market doesn't need to, you have a lot of fear. So it's 58 pips. We are targeting 58 pips. You can even target 50 pips. You can even target 50 pips. Or you can target to that because we might have an activation of a double top. So you might target 64.14. So whichever area you might target, the market has to hit our half. So that's how we are entering this trade. Before even we reach here, there's something I want to show you guys. I'm analyzing on FXCM. The broker is FXCM. What, what gold did to me, I will never um, take for granted to confirm from other brokers. So we want to confirm from other brokers we are talking the same language. So that is FXCM, Audi USD FXCM. So let's go to Audi USD, another broker. You just want to confirm as everything going on right. So this is Oanda. So you can see that, yes, there's that red candle. So even Oanda is supporting us. Like I cannot enter a trade if I have not been confirmed by three or four brokers saying the same thing. And you can see we have a breaking around that area. So that breaking is very, very good. And it is not like a forced break, it's a good break. So the market, even Oanda has supported. So let's go to the next one. Audi SD, Paperstone. So we have Paperstone. So I want to check even Paperstone, is it saying the same? language so we can see paper stone still has a double and mind you this double top double bottom is not on the daily so the reason why we are trading that double bottom is nowhere on the daily can you see there's nothing so that's the best thing the double bottom is not on the daily so even paper stone have the first attempt has the second attempt has current resistance break like that is the first thing i will be able to check in like are the markets speaking the same language? And the last but not least is capital, capital.com. So we just need to go to check on capital.com and see, do we still have, and you can see we still have that current, uh, we have the support, first attempt, second attempt, current support has been broken. So you might wonder, why am I comparing notes? Let me show you something that has just shocked me. Let me show you why I'm comparing notes because you might find, you see this current resistance, um, we have only one red candle. I, I was trading another pair and it didn't have the same, same thing. So the reason why I'm, I'm comparing notes because I will show you. Sometimes I was trying to analyze our DJPY. I was trying to analyze our DJPY. And let me show you what I got. I was trying to analyze our DJPY. And you can see our DJPY has a very good setup. It had a double bottom. If you only you can analyze and stick to this, guys, you will make a lot of money. So it has a double bottom and it has the neckline. And then the market has half, that's our half, and the market had RBS, meaning that it was to come to the half anyway. So that was our trade, RBS. So we had to check where is the current resistance being broken. So here is your current resistance. Can you see it? Sorry, we have our current resistance. So yes, the market will uh, give broke, and then we had a chance to enter this trade up to 26 pips. So when I was looking at this trade, the reason why I didn't enter is because this was FXCM. I said, before I enter this trade, I want to be sure that 
uh, other brokers have done the same. Why? Because we, we are messed by something small, like you enter a trade and the trade has not confirmed. So I went to ODJPY and I was shocked. ODJPY, which broker was this? Let me show you which broker was this. The previous broker was Oanda at the FXCN. I got now to Oanda broker and I was shocked, guys. Like this market had a possible double bottom. Can you see? Possible double bottom. And um, the market had, um, had that neckline. And then this was our half. Yes, we had RBS, but the question was, the market didn't have the red candle. Can you see now the difference? Here, we don't have a resistance. So tell me, if you're analyzing, which one now do you follow? You see, now a trade like this has some issues because you don't know which trade you follow. You don't know if you follow. So if you enter such a trade, use stop loss, use proper risk management, or just avoid it. Because one trade is telling you, I have a resistance. The red candle has created a resistance, but this one didn't have a resistance. Can you see? And even I checked on Paperstone because right now I'll be using Paperstone and Paperstone didn't have any red candle. So I was left wondering if I was to enter what would have made me to enter when every broker does not have a resistance that they are showcasing, they have broken. So that's why on AudioSD, I'm very now careful to check all the trades, to check all the brokers so that they have to break. So you can see here, there was no support. Uh, there was no resistance created. There's no red candle, but this one has a resistance created. So this one has a resistance created. So one didn't have, the other one here. So it was a bit confusing. So this trade, I didn't take it. But now for the Audi USD, the one that you have entered right now, I have done my analysis and all, all the brokers have this resistance. So I've made sure every broker has this resistance and they have this red candle. Because if they fail to have this red candle, we don't have a double bottom. If they fail to have this resistance, there's no entry. That's why I was confirming. So all the best. If you're watching this, I want you to comment down below. Do you think AudioSD, by the time you're watching this trade, was it a successful trade? Was it a stubborn trade? I want to, to trade, to comment that. Was this trade successful, stubborn, or a loss? A loss, it means this trade eventually went down and never went up. So it's you to check by the by the making of this video, it was a double bottom on date of date. The first attempt started, the first attempt started Wednesday, 1st November 2023. So you just go in your chart, check November, 1st November, Wednesday 2023, and then you check the trade and then comment. Was it a successful trade? Was it um Losing trade or a stubborn trade. Stubborn trade are trades that stay in one place before they hit TP. Successful trade is trade that within no time the market will hit. So I want us to, as we watch, we will want to know by day how did this trade come in. So every Tuesday when we do live trading, even if that trade has passed, it's you to come back and see. By day because we had analyzed this, what did the trade do? What really happened with that trade? All the best, guys. Hope you will enter this trade in time. If it will not have HTTP, all the best and see you tomorrow in the next, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Love you.